Hi folks, Winkle here. Mission 6, we've got a really difficult one this time. I've written my will and I've asked my tailor to cancel my suit for Friday, just in case. This one's going to be really tricky. We've got a wild weasel mission, taking out the SA3 site. These are our headings. Let's have a look at the bigger map. So we're going to take off from Krimsk, as usual. Follow our headings accurately this time, so that I trigger all the uh, hard work put in by Sorelro. We're going to... Take a, I think it's about 103 from here, but the important thing is we come across the north part of this reservoir. Uh, come to the, just the east of this little reservoir here. At this point, I'm going to be at zero feet, and I'm also going to call my wingman in to uh, cover me, uh, which is a top tip from Sorelro. So hopefully that will get him to start engaging this uh, SA3 site here, which will identify its whereabouts to me. I will then come in at zero feet, get to this point here, come off at 30 degrees, pull up, it should be at my 10 o'clock, come in, drop all the bombs on it, hopefully do some damage, and then come around and finish it off with the rockets and come home for tier medals. Okay guys, I'll see you in the aircraft. Here we go. Now we're starting to come on the way. Right up Right. Across the arm then. Where side pipes are. Turn that down. Right there, let's go. Right, and then we're going in with bombs. I'm going to uh, take the centre rack of the aircraft and put the mode switch on manual. I'm going to set the pressure to the bombs in the high. Good enough. I'm going to turn our radar wall receiver on. And we're going to auto balance our tank. That will sort that out for us. Okay. Try and turn our Chuck Yeager vision off today. Our mirrors on. Pilot back in. And we're ready to go. Brakes off. Disengaged our nose wheel steering. There's no crosswind today, so should be okay. Okay, gear up. Numbers increasing. Just to keep the nose low, just to get as much speed as I can. We drag as low as possible. But then the nose will pick up as we gain speed, as you can see from the uh, vertical speed indicator here. I want to keep that reasonably low so I'm trimming the aircraft down. Let's keep that nose down. Get up to 300 knots as normal and then we'll come out of burner. 300 knots. I want to be at about 3,000 pounds an hour, something like that, just under if I can. Keep the nose down to maintain 300 knots. Right, we're going to head. Let's just double check how we're going to turn into our man. Uh, on to 041. Just a slight right turn here. And we're going to fly up to the river, which we can see just running across here. And when we get quite near the river, we're going to turn onto 103, there or thereabouts. Right, so our RWR should be warmed up now. Yeah, so we've had a couple of questions from people. So we're looking for search radar here. This is this is a top-down view of the aircraft, and it it tells us where radar, effectively electromagnetic radiation, is hitting the aircraft. So we've got our F5 here, which if we look off to our right, there he is. So that's his radar hitting our aircraft. This here is the enemy surface to air missile. This is our E2 uh, AWACS. So that's useful. Now it's on the search facility. If we put it onto the track, it's not picking anything up because nothing's picked us up on its track radar, uh, which is the surface to air missile. Basically, when it's launching at you, the track radar will come up on here. So you have to switch between the two. 
Okay, so we're at 300 knots. Our fuel flow is good, it's below 3,000 pounds an hour. Right, so the other thing we need to set our bombs up, we're going to set those to ripple. We're going to put this to nose and tail, just to make sure they actually go bang when they hit the ground. And we're going to set our interval, which we need to set if we've set our ripple, to the largest interval, po interval possible. Overlord Tenfield. Right, so we've triggered Sir Elro's hard work. He's put his uh, these uh, scripts in, which are absolutely great. And normally through my bad flying, I don't trigger those, so I'm going to try and do my best to trigger those today. Uh, so I'm just going to turn around up to roughly 103. Actually, if you can see that lake in the distance there, we want to fly over the north side, by the left side from here, of that lake. That's what we're aiming at. Okay. Now the next thing I need to check is we've got our nav lights on, which turn those off. Let's keep our nose down. Right, so this is our wild weasel mission. It's old school. Um, we haven't got any any radiation missiles or anything like that that we can shoot from miles away. We actually can go in and drop bombs on this on this. Um, surface air missile. So what I'm going to do is as we approach the uh, lake, reservoir, whatever this body of water is up here, I'm going to ask my wingman, which, thanks for the uh, tip from Sorelro, I'm going to ask him to cover me and that will hopefully get him to engage the enemy air defences which are over here somewhere. I'm then going to drop down to zero feet and I'm going to approach the enemy air defences at tree level, treetop level, pop up and drop my bombs on on the uh, SA-3 site, while the SA-3 site is looking at my wingman, uh, hopefully not killing him, but very, very dangerous mission. As you can see here on our RWR, this is target, it's not locked us up, it's just any search radars that's picked us up now. Because we started hot on the Bombay, I'm always nervous that I've forgotten something. I think we're good. So we're equipped with five Mark 82 500 pound bombs and we've got our rocket pods on, high explosive anti-tank on the outer pylons and high explosive on the inner pylons and a couple of sidewinders there just in case. <coughs> Obviously that hot annoying beeping is because the Sidewinders are infrared, they've got a lock, but they've got a lock on the sun, um, which is slightly out of range. Palm's starting to get a bit sweaty now because it's this is a, a very, very difficult mission. I don't want to be any higher than this, so I'm just going to trim back on the power a little bit. Is our man. He's going to be earning his money today. As we can see from our RWR, it gives us a bit of SA or situational awareness of where the missile system is. It's over here, somewhere, about there, I would say. So what my man's going to do is attract the attention of the missile system. When I'm coming in low level, I'm going to be going past this little reservoir here, turning onto 180, and directly south past that, and I should see the missile system launching. And that's where, how I'm going to find it. And that's how these wild weasel missions work. As I said in the briefing, I'm going to get near the missile system, I'm going to turn off to the right at 30 degrees, I'm going to count to 5, and then I'm going to pull up at 30 degree climb, it should be off to my 10 o'clock, I'm going to pull the hard bank over and drop my weapons on target hopefully, thus presenting uh, the enemy with a minimum target on me, a minimum cross section, and what you can see, I'm actually climbing and moving right to left from its perspective, so it's hard for it to hit me. Right, okay, we're over the reservoir now. Let's ask my man to do a difficult job. Cover me. Flight. Cover me. 
Now he's not doing anything at the moment, will you? There he goes. Right, good man. Right, so we're going to drop down now. I want to be to the north, by the left hand side of this reservoir here. Trim the nose down, pitch up as we get faster. Wow, look at the already pounding that road. I don't think they'll be crossing that bridge anytime soon. So some good artillery strikes over here, you can see that Sorel I've programmed in. That's the convoy we were hitting the other day. So that's a nice little touch. Right, let's get a little bit of power in. Things are getting serious now. So once I've this this reservoir clears to my right, I'm gonna take a half right turn onto 180. Hopefully then I can see the enemy air defences launching. I need to get this trimmed because I'm going to be down amongst the trees. Sweaty palm stuff. We've also got the SA6 which is there, so that's another threat. Right, here we go. Okay. hope no one's flying any kites around here. I'm going to come round to 180. Just keep an eye on my head in. Right, there we are. Right, now we're looking for launch. We're looking for smoke coming up from the ground. Right, I need to get down really low. Looking at our RWR, we can see that the uh, SAM site is directly off our nose. Lower, lower, lower. Need it to launch again to really pick out where it is exactly. Sam launch, SA3, take it down, take it down! Chaff out, chaff out. Pull up. Right, there we go. Pull on, pull down on target. Chaff out. Chaff out. Pickle. Sam launch, SA3, take it down, take oh, it down. Show, show. That needs to come down to about there. This needs to go to there. These need to get activated. Right, get low. Can you see our site. Burn a full in. Let's see what we can do. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm hit! I'm hit! Punch it out! I hit something. Burn us fully in. Come on, right, quality, quality. How many bucks have we got left? Nothing. Right, okay. At least we're going to be a lot faster. Right, we get the setup for guns. Right, let's get our bearings to stay cool. It's not launching at me, maybe I've done some critical damage. It's in that set of trees just there. So we can see it's 
say. Okay, we're doing something. Let's trim the nose down. Save our fuel. Take the search and track radar out. Keep my eye on them. Don't go into the ground. Okay. I think we're taking the search track radar out. Think. Okay. Hopefully you can relax a bit now. Famous last words. Right, let's check our fuel. Oh, it's not been too bad. Just got cannon, so let's really plan our attacks carefully. Must have hit something there. Blaming for the launchers. Keep an eye on the tree, it's very easy to lose situational awareness. Come round again, same thing again. Try and run down that line of launchers. Only mine is an SA6 off to our left, so we can't go too far. certainly put it out of action but I've not done anywhere near as much damage as I would like it's 
see the launchers there. Come on, let's see if we can hit them. There they are. Right, that's better. Now burner. Not that much fuel. See the launchers there in that semicircle. See them right there. That's it. Right, let's pull down onto them. Let's make it count. But we're lined up nicely. Yep, got a bit more damage. Check our fuel. Not ideal, but got enough. of launchers. Get the power in a little bit for this turn. There they are. Right, come on. Let's get some good hits on these ones this time. Yes! That's what we want. Precision is what's required. Okay, let's go for the next one. Keep it methodical. It's like flying circuits. Pick our target. Okay, we'll go for the next one up. Not rush anything, just give ourselves time to line up correctly. Check our fuel quickly. Okay, we've got enough. Right, let's get a bit of power into the turn. Okay, just power back slightly. Now we're going downhill. Right, I've lost situational awareness. I'm heading for the wrong trees. Right, let's take a take a take a break. power on a bit. That's fine. This is real life stuff. Okay. Right. That's what we're aiming for over there. Let's go for that launcher. 
Oh, I'm out, I'm out. Winchester. Damn, so frustrating. Right, let's get out of here. Take a fuel. Not ideal, but we are where we are. Let's get across this lake here before we really pop up. Should be good. Keep an eye on our, just put that on our track radar now. Just in case. Have I got any chaff left? That's the important thing. Yep, we've got some chaff left just in case. Okay, let's head off to Krimsk. We can see our home lake here. Krimsk is just at the base of it. Out there. Right, let's check everything. Go back onto search. Fuel is enough. We have sufficient. I'll put my radar on now. I did leave my nose cold just for. Uh, to, you know, not let them know we're coming earlier than we need to. Right, let's call Krimsk up. Krimsk, in field 1-1, one, one, inbound. Two nine eight five. Two nine eight five. That's good. Got enough fuel. Let's get a bit of a bit of speed up by fifty knots. Caution's up there, she's letting us know we're low on fuel. 600 knots. Contact tower. Krimsk, in field 1-1, one, one. request landing. Home again. 
So we just break over the runway, throttles to idle, speed brakes out. Downwind. We're at 1800 feet, I want a bit of 15, Let's just let everything sort itself out. It's looking good. Let's drop the nose a little bit, let's trim that back up. Okay, 260 knots, gear down. Trim the aircraft. Three greens, gear down and locked. Okay, let's turn in. A little bit high, I'd like to be, but that's fine. Bit slow, it's got to speed brake here. Try and keep that about 170 in the turn. Still got uh, a stage of speed brake in. That's fine. I don't think there's a crosswind according to the forecast, but we'll soon feel it when we are. Uh, to the centre line. Gear is down and locked. Full speed brake out. Power. On stage of speed brake in. And down, shoot out, those are all steering engaged. A little bit of brakes, and we'll get off at the first taxi road. Just drop my shoot now, let my guys pick it up. Don't lose it, oh, that's it. One moment of concentration lost. Hopefully no one will notice, we won't mention. That's cool, right. Just check the taxiway, it's all clear. Turn our ray, radar off so we don't fry anyone in the uh, control tower over here. Okay, we're home. Right guys, that was a difficult one. I'll see you in debrief. Alright guys, welcome to the debrief. Okay, as per usual, we're going to take off from Kribsk. Heading to the target. At this point, here. We ask my wingman to cover, and he goes off and does a actually does a great job. So he starts attracting the SA threes. Exactly what he wanted to do, and then he's turning away and defeating those guys while I sneak in low level. Another SA three after him now. So let's have a look what happens with my attack here. So that's good. I pulled down on target. Couldn't have gone better actually. 
well, apart from actually hitting stuff with my bombs, but you can't have everything. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. They're out. Just short. They're just short. Uh, I think I just hadn't taken into account that they were retarded bombs. So there's enough of SA3 out on our wingman. And another one. He does a brilliant job in the end. They get him. Boom, he's gone. Rockets in now. Swing round. Let's have a little look. Yeah, so we do quite a bit of damage now. Obviously, I'm slightly uh, panicking. I've got to reorg my um, weapon system. I've got to adjust my reticle. So I dropped my drop tanks. Uh, sorry, all my uh, stores off there. Takes me a while to compose myself. But once I get the hang of it. Things start to come together. So let's see here. There we go. Plenty of hits. Yeah. Quite happy with that. We've made the best of a bad thing. Uh, just makes you appreciate how difficult this sort of stuff would have been for real. And still is now, to be honest. Okay, let's see what we do here. That's where I lost my situational awareness. Really easy to do. Okay. Yeah, so I'll take one of the radar out. Probably the track radar. I could have worked that out by looking at my RWR at the time, but I was uh, busy with other things, let's say. Okay, here we go again. Yeah, get some good hits. Start putting it together then. They can take quite a bit of damage, those uh, SA3s, but... Certainly, uh, it would have stopped them working, which it did. They, they weren't attacking me. Yeah. All starts coming together at the end. Every day is a school day. Yeah, good. Feel like I've slightly redeemed myself there. Yeah. You can see the SA six in the distance over there, so let's be careful. I think this is where we actually finish off one of the launchers. Yeah, one of them goes there. The rest are all damaged, so pretty happy with that. I think I'll Winchester now, which I'll realise in a sec. Yeah. Okay, so we head on back to base. Break over the runway. Downwind. Right, so that's put me in the grass, which is quite amusing, because that's what the uh, track file did as well, as plainly you saw me landing on the runway. So obviously something's got corrupted there. 
But there you go. Right, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.